Hello everyone, this is Richard Cispedes and we're here to play Zombies Ate My Neighbors for the SNES. This is the fourth part. The fourth video uploaded. Now, let's get straight to it. Alright, save them. Grab them. This is an ant farm. Big ol' huge ant farm. Enclosed in a plastic dome, I would suspect. Making it more eccentrically sci-fi like a weird, uh... Twilight Zone episode, you know? And I really do, um, like to specify that, um, they really did a great job on the ants. On creating the ants, you know? <clears throat> and one thing that I realized about the animation, like, you know, about how the animate characters, like, uh, the, the cartooniness of the characters of the of the 16-bit era, you know? Like, um... One thing that I come to realize that it's kind of it's kind of similar to regular real animation, you know? I didn't know that because it's like... When I was younger, I didn't know that, um... You could animate things with the computer because it was unknown back then, you know? But just how to see how the main characters running around and walking and those ants are crawling and all that. That's all, um... Frame-by-frame frame animation. You know, so it's not like morphing, like the uh, you know, um, like some people use certain technique, which yeah, you know, yeah, they don't use it that much now. But um, how they make them crawl and walk and jump is all um, um, animated frame by frame. So it's kind of like a GIF, uh, one of those uh, picture um, animated pictures that they used to have a lot for um, uh, MySpace. I mean, uh, you, uh, yeah, MySpace. I think they're called GIF pics or whatever they're called or animated pics, <clears throat> like, like like animated pics. So like, like um, just basic animation, you know, putting frames, playing frames, frames by frames together, side by side, and you animate them, and then you correlate the animation to the motion of the keys to where you move on top of a surface or the canvas. So you put this GIF image that's separate from the the floor that he's walking on. You know the level is completely separate from the image. But when you put them, when you put that layer on top of the bottom layer, which is the environment, you put two layers together, and then uh, you get um, not only the animation, but you also get um, progression. Progression. The character is progressively walking around the environment. And so, like, that's when the the trickery of um, the encoding and the um, the computer comes into play in order for the character to walk around the environment and to look as though they're as though they're animated walking in the environment. You know what I'm saying? Like stepping left, right, left, right, and shooting and enemies attacking. So it's like the enemies are actually in the in the main characters actually um just stationary images animated images but doing work with the computer you make them move around this 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 bottom layer the canvas but anyways yeah this is another level <clears throat> sorry i got a little boring there but this is the another level the pyramid level this is another one that i like because it's just one of those levels that um that just reminds me of my, my childhood um, because I played so much. I actually come to realize, thinking back, that I was very close to beating the game a lot of times. Because the, because um, before I did this upload, I played the game and I beat it, obviously. But looking back on it, I kind of realized that there was lots of times and opportunities where I almost beat the game. But um, I think it was just the difficulty of... Uh, because I would get the password and then I would stop playing for a day and then I would play another day and use the password but when you use the password you lose a lot of your um, weapons and and one-ups and all that so it becomes difficult you know and so that's why I didn't beat the game because in order to beat the game you have to basically play the game sitting on your butt the whole day it takes it consumes the whole day you know
And I also like to do, um, I stay quiet a little bit, um, I like to do random voices. If you hear me stay quiet and then I do funny little, uh, sounds and voices, just, you know, it's just for humor. But, uh, this level is one of my favorite levels. I have to say, this game is getting progressively very fun, you know? <clears throat> I'm very much enjoying this. Well, that was a nifty little water tomb. I think that question mark, they never really tell you what you get. A lot of those excav excavators, excavations, whatever it's called. Curse of the Pharaoh. There's a lot of gold in Well, of course, you know, it's like, uh... This would be probably, like, um... Similar to, like, uh... Asia's tombs. Because Asia doesn't have a pyramid... Traditional pyramid... Tombs. They have more, like, cave-like tombs, you know? And that was real quick. Saw me. Oh, here we go again. More, more killer Shucky dolls and these chainsaw Borky guys. These guys are relentless. They're just coming at you now. Ha 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 
Skulky. <clears throat> and just like uh, the water flow, you know, and some of the levels where you see the water flow, like um, that's all just basic um, animation, like, like obviously, you know, but. Like, it's like supposed to be like giving the illusion of flowing down when actually it's just the animation of, uh, of the white, um, the white flow, you know, um, the, the image of the velocity and the motion of the water, which is given by the, the white aspect of the flow, you know, the, the directional flow, uh, just being animated toward down so basically the whole image the water fountain the water itself that's being dropped down is actually stationary and it's not really uh, um, not really going anywhere it's just a stationary image with a top layer of, of animation on it you know and it's and the flow is given by the, the white uh, rush you know the white aspect of the flow so that's another thing about the, you know MySpace had a lot of thumbnails like that, where like it had like simple one second animation of a a ball rolling or or some movie star falling in their face or something like that, you know. And I must say, I do like these these particular levels because they're kind of like swampy. They have the houses water it's just a very exciting uh, environment to play in Music in this game is really well done. Like I said, uh, the mood of the game just really grabs you. You know, this game has a lot of um, compared to other games. This game has a lot of comedic um, element. Um, it was just well put together, well thought out game. You know, it's very very rare to have this kind of uh, game with this kind of attitude. You know. Especially for that era, you know, like, um, but they were just geniuses in terms of how they plotted out the game and what they wanted, you know? It's very, um, they did a great job on it, you know? It was a great concept, is what it was, you know, it was very different from anything. Because it has a, a lot of elements of humor, and you could tell that the creators were trying to um, give more life and try to give more hints and kind of elbow nudges like hey you see that kind of stuff you know like uh, um, mature humor almost you know they wanted to have that like the, the whole construction the whole man the whole existence of this game is more of like uh, that but it's for kids you know because of limitations of the 16 bits they weren't able to um, push it as far as they wanted to, I think.
that a lot of games nowadays they don't have a uh, personality they're just kind of like just basic straightforward games like Flappy Bird for instance uh Flappy Bird is one game that uh um it's, it's a great game challenging but doesn't really have any cleverness in terms of personality you know um the game itself is humorous because it's um unto itself it's uh, liberty you know it's an 8-bit 8 8 -bit game and so like um just the very existence of the game the bird hits the the pipes and it falls down and it just kind of like it's just like by default it's just uh, humorous um unto itself you know but it isn't exactly uh clever because there's a difference between by default humor by accident type of humor by limitations of the of the creator and the actual teamwork and the actual um, um, intention of trying to make a game have life and humor and personality you can tell from that because that 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 create that's where real talent comes in people can read that they, they know that you know And that's what this game has. It's clearly, you can clearly see that. Because it all takes work. I like how he doesn't fall off the, the roof there, walking close to the edge. Those slippery uh, tiles that he's on. Or shingles. That, that plant just gives me the creeps. A plant in the house, spreading its fungus on a wooden floor. That's very unnatural and very creepy. Perfect. And so you fight the scientist here. I remember um, as a kid, I fought him here. You know, and uh, this is how I knew that I was that I got close to the game. But in reality, there was there's way more levels beyond this, and that's where the the fatigue of playing the game uh, came in, and I never really got too far. And it's a perfect strategy for the boss to have those webs because it slows you down. You know? And then the spider could just crawl all over you. I like the way they um did uh they created that big old huge spider, the animation, the design, everything is perfect. So you have to put those those uh, inflatable uh, clowns there to, to get the spiders away from you, the little baby spiders. 
the decoys. disappears. So now we got him on the run. Clean up a little bit. Dangerous place for a baby. Not too many people to save in here. See that right there? Those bubbles right down there to the bottom right, where the Frankenstein was? That's all um, animated.
destroy all vampires. Perfect setting for vampires, a castle. This level is very familiar. <clears throat> As a kid. Alright everybody, this is uh, Zombies 8 by Neighbors, the 4th part, I'll see you guys on the 5th and 6th part, the 6th part will be the last one, thank you all for watching, this is Ricky Cespedes, this is for gameplay for SNES, thank you and God bless.